Well, in our programs at WSOS, we really try to involve the community as much as possible, and including our parents, which are a very vital part of the community. So we look at um, the richness that it's got to offer. So we may uh, invite different types of um, community workers like the police department, the fire department, but also people with really talents and skills. It could be someone that's a musician or an artist to share their knowledge with children and show them the possibilities that are out there down the road as they grow up that they too could acquire these skills and could make a career in these areas of development. I own a gallery it, for babies. It's called First Encounters in Art Gallery for Babies and I just opened up in April and the purpose of the gallery is to provide art experiences for babies 6 to 18 months. So we exhibit work different artworks every six weeks, and then we have a related hands-on experience. What we use today, we had two different kinds of paint. The first kind was a very simple recipe. It was just made out of sweetened condensed milk, and I added some food coloring to it, and you just stir it up, and it's a nice, thick consistency, and it's a little sticky, but that's okay. And then whenever it dries, it dries to a nice sheen onto the surface. And then the second paint recipe was made out of cornstarch and you have to cook that on the stove and with some water and it thickens like a pudding and then you can add Kool-Aid because it offers some color but it also offers a nice fragrance so the children have a different experience whenever they're smelling it as well as tasting it. If you can think of the brain and, and a young child is like a circuit board, anytime there's kind of, uh, any kind of sensory stimulation, that circuit board is lighting up. So it's really good, those neurons are connecting in the brain anytime that child has some type of a learning experience. And so when they're painting, parts of the brain are lighting up, but they're also using hand-eye coordination, they're using the pincer grip, which will help them later on to hold on to different tools and smaller tools, um, fine motor coordination whenever they're working with their little fingers, and also most importantly, not that those aren't important, but uh, crossing the midline is another skill whenever they're reaching over to smear paint onto the surface from right to left or left to right, and that helps later on down the road when they're reading and writing. I think, I think that art experiences are really, really important. I think because uh, folks see them as a really fun activity, that children are not learning anything, it's just fun like play, but art really can teach children a lot. I think it's really important, um, you know, for, my, for me and for my staff to be out there in the community and to see what's available and making connections and to make them aware um, of this population that we serve of young children and how vital it is for those children to be aware of what's going on in their community. So this is a community I'm going to become a citizen in and contribute to later on. So I think we're building those connections early.